Hello YouTubers, this is Luis from On-Site Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. Um, this week, a uh, gentleman posted a topic on Facebook asking how to utilize the Vulcan strapless wheel lift system. Um, and upon reading it, there was a lot of misinformation and a lot of that information is the reason why these wheel lifts have a bad name. Okay, so first and foremost, this is probably the second fastest wheel lift on the market. The first being obviously the auto loader. I love this system because it's quick, it's easy, and you do not have to use wheel lift straps. So one of the modifications that a lot of people you do to these that they should not be doing and it's highly against, I'm highly against it, is they drill a hole on the outside of the wheel lift scoop, similar to a traditional L-arm, and they throw a strap over it. Now, the problem with that is when you throw a strap over it and you start cranking it down, it actually lifts the scoop arm out of this little pin because you're pulling up, upwards. And as you can see, this is not a traditional, how can I say it, receiver for an L-arm. It's totally different. So if you're one of those guys, please stop doing that. Now, the second thing that I noticed, too, is a lot of people cut this bar off. And, yeah, I know this bar can be a pain in the ass, um, especially when you're, when you're hooking up to the car. You know, you can hit the bumper with it and whatnot. And what this bar does is once you've got your car set up, you put this in place just like that. And this actually prevents the car from shooting forward and into the back of your tailboard. So... Yeah, don't remove those. But anyways, so the whole concept behind the Vulcan wheel lift is gravity. So you depend on the weight of the vehicle to fall in place with this scoop. As you can see, it's an odd looking shape, but when the tire wedges itself in there it's got no way to come out what I also like about the wheel lift this wheel lift system is where the controls are so these are your wheel lift controls this is your up and down this is your tilt and this is your in and out and what I like about this is I can better observe what is going on underneath the car All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're going to hook up our service vehicle here. So you'll back up, center it with the vehicle, just like a traditional wheel lift. You can slide your receivers out if you have to. Um, put your wheel scoop in. And you're going to take your wheel scoop and you're going to pivot it. And there we go. Then take your pin... This is your pivot pin. Drop it in place so that this pivot point doesn't move on you. And then we take our other safety pin and we drop it here into the, to the arm. This prevents the arm from sliding this way in the event of uh, some kind of failure. You can put your other safety bar in place here. And now we're gonna lift. We're gonna tilt up first. Now you can see how this system works. See that tire bulge in there? That's because that tire is wedged into that scoop. And that's how this, these scoops work. They wedge themselves in there. The only way this will pop out is if you don't have the car, the casualty up high enough and you go up a little pitch or something, some kind of driveway and it hits hard enough, it will pop out. Um, but since I've been using this wheel lift for some time already, that has never happened to me. Now, for all you individuals that feel the need to have to have a strap, 
if you actually take a chain and hook it to some kind of suspension component and hook it to a grab hook and tilt the chain will tighten and that can act as another safety hook point i don't have to use it um it's fine just the way it is but if you want that extra security by all means do what you got to do so that you can uh, get the job done and that is how the Vulcan strapless wheel lift system works. And of course, we're not going down the road like this. Um, remember to put your safety chains on, put your drag light on. Um, I'm Luis from On-Site Towing and Recovery in Middletown, New York. Be careful out there, slow down, move over. Any questions or concerns or comments or tips, please feel free to comment. And thanks again, please subscribe.